Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening. Hopefully, whatever time of the day it is you're watching this video, you're having a good one. Today, our video notes are over, representing proportional relationships. Uh, you know from hopefully the last couple of years, a proportion uh, normally looks like uh, two fractions with an equal sign below them, um, but we're talking about a proportional relation relationship, and that is when we're talking about a little formula that we're going to use where it's a constant, and we're going to write that word down here at the top because it's a very important word, constant, that means it's the same, over and over, the same number is used, so constant is the word, and we're actually going to use a different letter for this, even though it sounds very similar, the letter we're going to use is the letter K, okay, so it probably is something you can remember, K, constant, uh, it's just a different letter but the same basic sound. Okay, so here are your notes, and I have one page. You guys are going to have uh, front and back. It's that red sheet. So let's get right into it. So the first question we have is we have uh, the first situation. It says, Megan earns $12 an hour at her part-time job. Show that this relationship between the amount she earned and the number of hours she works is a proportional relationship. Well, this is the fact that she makes $12 an hour every single hour, no matter what, there's no bonus, there's no tip, there's no raise that she got or any time, anything like that. Just the fact that it's the same over and over again tells us that this is a proportional relationship. Okay, um, But we want to be able to show this in a few different ways. So that there's four different ways we show this. Verbal, which is the way we just talked about it. It's the, the words part of it. Okay, Then we're going to put it in a table. Okay, That's another way to show it. Then we're going to come down here, which will be the back of your paper. We're going to put it in a graph. And then last, we're going to show what the equation looks like. And if you look here, you see this letter K right there. Okay? And that's what we were talking about, that constant value that doesn't change. And if it's something that does change, then it wouldn't be called constant. So we talked about the verbal. Okay? So now we're going to create a table and a graph. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go right here. And we want to be very careful when we do these that we're actually looking up at the top to see what the number of whatever it is they're giving us is not the same all the way through. Like, it doesn't always go one, two, three, four. For example, this one goes one, representing how much she made in one hour, which is just one times 12, okay? For two hours, she made $24, which is just two times 12. But then it skips all the way to four, and 4 times 12, 48. And then 8 times 12, 96. So when you're filling these out, make sure that you're actually using the numbers that they give you. Okay. Now, the numbers on top, those are going to represent our x values for our graph when we get down to it. So you might want to write a little x here and y. And when we make graphs, we always write them the points always look like this. The first number is the x, the second number is the y. So this is going to represent our x values, this is our y values. Okay. So then usually they'll have a question after that. How much would Megan earn if she worked six hours? Well that would be a pretty simple one. Six times twelve equals seventy-two. Now the issue with this is that a question like this that you might see may not start out giving you this information. It may only start out by giving you this table and the numbers are filled in here, and then you have to figure out how much she makes in six hours, which means you would actually have to figure out, well, she made $12 this hour, she made $12 each hour for these two hours, so you'd have to do a little dividing to find that it's the answer to the division problem here every time is 12. 12 divided by 1 is 12. 24 by 2 is 12. 48 by 4 is 12. 96 by 8 is 12. Okay? And what you're doing is you're taking this this bottom line, y, and you're dividing it by x, okay? And that's actually giving us that constant amount, that number that doesn't change. That's the 12, okay? If I put 12 on top, 1 on the bottom, I'd get an answer of 12. If I put 24 on the top and 2 on the bottom, I'd get an answer of 12. Okay, so that's where they get this constant and then how, we're allowed, how we can turn this into a graph, okay? Okay, so now that we've done that, let's actually go down here and turn this into a graph. Now we have four points, and as you see, our bottom, which this graph, you want to imagine, it does keep going, okay, in all directions. It's a normal 
coordinate plane. However, when we talk about things like this where there's no negatives involved, she's not going to work a negative number of hours. She's not going to have a negative amount of money she's earning. Okay, we're not going to use the whole graph. We're just going to use this section up here, which is our positive positive quadrant. That's quadrant one, okay, just to remind you about that. So again, we're going to take these four points we had. So we're going to look up here. We had one hour of work, $12. So we go one hour of work, $12 is about right there. Then for two hours of work, we come up here to about 25, four, which is just under 25. Then we had for four hours of work was 48. So four hours of work, 48 would be just under the 50. And then the last one we have, eight hours of work, way up here, 96, which is just above 95. And as you see, if I drew a line, it would make a straight line, okay? Whenever you do a graph that has a perfectly straight line, it is proportional, okay? The number that we're using to get all these is always the same. We didn't add anything to it. She didn't start off with an amount of money. She started off at zero, and we're just trying to figure out how much she made every hour. So whenever we have a straight line on a graph, that means it is a constant value. That means this K that we're about to talk about is not changing, okay? So we did... In words, we did a table, we then did a graph, and now we're going to do this as the equation. Now, this equation written this specific way looks like this normally. And this doesn't look that different from things you've seen before. You've seen things like this, y equals 3x. You've seen things like this, y equals 1 half x. So you've seen equations that look like this, but when we're talking about a proportional relationship, this number right here is not going to change. That's going to stay the same. We're going to change the x and it's going to give us answers for y. So again, we talked about it up here. In order to find the constant, to find out what that number is that's never changing, we took this bottom line, this is, represents our y, and we divided it by the top line, which is the x. Okay. Now, technically, if you wrote it the other way around, you'd get the same answer every time. If you wrote x on top, y on the bottom, you'd get 1 12th, this would be 1 12th. They'd all be 1 12th, but that is not the constant value. Okay, you got to make sure you actually flip it over. So you take the y value, put it on top, the x is on the bottom. Now, the way that you do this, the way that they got from this right here to this, okay, is just simple elimination of uh, terms, okay? If I want to figure out what this k is, well, I want to get rid of this x over here. So to get rid of this x, I divide both sides by x. That makes this x go away. And I get y over x, which is what we've been talking about. And that gives us our constant value. Okay? So again, the equation that we're using, the constant is equal to the y divided by the x. And in this case, again, we got 12 for all these. So then if you're doing this problem, again, you just would say, hey, six hours, I know that she made $12 an hour. Six times 12 is 72. So again, here are the rules to find out if we have a proportional relationship. Is the line of the graph straight? Yes. Does it start at zero? Yes, that's important too. Because if we had a graph that started at like 20, that wouldn't technically be constant because it would go up here and then like that. It wouldn't be a straight line all the way. So... Straight line, starting at 0, 0. The k value is the same number every single time, and that tells us it's a constant, and that's what we're trying to do today. Constant relationships in proportions. Okay? All right, there's your notes. A little over nine minutes, and get these done, and we will take care of this in class. Okay, see you later.